Welcome to Magico. Um here with my nice. virtual couch. Um you can you guys can introduce yourselves? Uh, well, I am uh, Dagron. I I run this game. Некоторые люди, конечно, в прошлом. Yeah, I'm Zax and I also yeah. run this game. <laughs> All right, um, but I да. could be good to go, but before не знаю, I про что эта игра, но... do run, I must show you guys the Sega logo. Выглядит прикольно. Must do that. Must always be done. Isn't that the cutest darn thing you ever did to you? All right, but with that, um, I'll count it down to five, four, three, two, one, Таймер у нас сейчас пойдет, но старт нажмет. Good luck. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, so the main thing with this particular game, there is a glide mechanic, and I mean your running speed is pretty slow, but if you utilize the glide, it actually saves that speed, and you can. No, вообще здесь типа механика перемещения есть, если просто бегать, то это будет очень медленно. Which is kind of a sticking point with this first level. Ah, no, yes. Прикол с сохранением скорости бега, с глайда, с прыжка, с и до тех пор, пока персонаж никого не вляешься, он будет сохранять свою скорость глайда. Да, это мой любимый игрок. Уровни на самом деле интересные. Я так и не понял, это какой-то... Переключение какой-то девочки волшебницы между мирами и типа того. Потому что некоторые миры очень напоминают другие миры. Да, это бостфайт получается в первой игре с вертолетом, он очень смешной. Я уважаю Симулирует попадание от выстрела. Ну, да, это очень сложно, но это сложно. Alright, so Joey's about to move on to the first boss here, and there's a bit of a quick kill set up with them. But sort of. Все, он его победил. Сейчас будет следующий босс. Чел футболист. Нужно хватать его мяч. Ну, с первого раза не получилось, очень весело, смешно, забавно. Ну ладно, ладно, бывает. Ты. Хорошо получается. Это уже какой-то Блин. Yeah, um, a fun fact about this game is like I think it was only released in Japan, so it'd be impossible to ever actually play this game if you're not from Japan. Yeah, since he has Joey has ever drive, he can play. Except for in Japan, it's impossible to ever play. So, a little fun fact about this game and according to Switch, it's actually only released in Japan. So, it'd be impossible to ever actually play this game if you're not from Japan. Except for in Japan, it's actually only released in Japan. Now I was kind of perplexed about that. Like, look at this game. <laughs> What's so bad about this? Until I looked into it, like, wait a minute. You can't shoot. Ну вот, что я говорил, то есть японская школа и потом что-то очень сильно напоминающее Sonic. Which knew about this game more than I do. But yeah, this is another uh, holding right stage. There's not much to say here uh, other than a uh, it's a very happy-go-lucky stage currently. Uh, yeah, it's a way, kid. Yeah, so. For those that are unfamiliar with this game, the wand has the ability to turn into inanimate objects. No, it's just a, you know, it gives the inanimate object a phase, and you're gonna see them. You're gonna see a few items get used in this run. I guess you never know. Some pretty funny little purposes to help kill bosses a little bit faster. There's also a bit of a warp. Oh, he didn't quite get it. Where did it go? That's unfortunate. Yeah, so he was trying to do a, a two-second time save there. There's a little bit of a warp there that uh, he unfortunately missed. 
Поэтому То, что-то я... напоминающее какую-то игру. Не знаю, какую. Что-то очень сильно напоминающее. Любую игру у тех годов yeah, можно castle... даже голосовать. Да, он снова помер. Ну, гейм овер получается, все, конец, можно, наверное, сходить, всем пока. Он теряет скорость, мало того, что он еще и умирает. Ох ты, супер красиво наступает. Как же это гениально! Вы просто видели, как объект он растянул такие спецэффекты версии 3D. Uh, I mentioned a bit about the inanimate objects, and you're gonna... We sort of overlooked this originally when we started learning this game. There weren't really that <laughs> much of any runners at all for this game when we all sort of started looking up this game dash. together. But there's these little statues here, and we're gonna throw them at uh, Miko Taka, and we're just gonna keep juggling her in the air. The thing with this boss is every time you hit her, she likes to immediately ну, не так сложно дожить его прожектайлы. Прыгает и дамажит. Прыгает и дамажит. Прыгает и While you're crouching, you actually maintain that crouch hitbox when you go up in the air, mm. and you can barely squeeze into the hole going upwards, and you can just uh, scale up the wall and just climb the top area because uh, there is uh, no collision up there. You can just keep going up the wall there. The screen is pretty scary. Let's see. Last pits here. All right, I'll take that. I'll take that indeed. Very nice. Ну, пошел он уже неплохо, на самом деле. Here is, uh, Mimora. Nothing to say here besides, um... Следующий um, босс. Там небольшая механика еще есть, her, uh, uh, она объясняла. Um, uh, uh, ну, в общем, is, да, uh, он... Uh, есть определенный момент, uh, типа, uh, нажать, прыгнуть и ударить. Там хитбокс умеешь свой персонаж, там, что позволяет so, uh, залезть. There is a semi-fast way by just hoping she shoots up every single time and you just go fast, but... That can lead you to getting hit by the downwards angle one, so it's easy to just jump up and glide right into her. So avoid both shots. Yeah. Okay, so stage three. Uh, stage three is uh, quite a huge thing. Uh, uh, thanks to a certain boss fight, but uh, we'll get to him when we do. Uh, this first screen here is actually really tricky to do properly. Yeah. Ну, в общем, да, третий уровень это у нас Ой, босс киллер, ран киллер. Он имеет, видимо, какой-то рандом Сам ран не особо тяжело. Протащил он предмет с начала уровня до конца. Like typically that fight is actually pretty luck based too. Like he can do two different sort of patterns, and I actually forget what patterns they are. But one of them is really really bad. And yeah, just carrying that fight. Well, достаточно сложный босс. Completely nullifies all the luck in that fight, so that's pretty nice. Randomly. Yeah, so this is the this is an auto scroller. Um, over around a two-minute auto scroller. Well, I'm gonna die. That's 
Ну как не босс, уж мы можно и босса назвать. Ладно, допустим это не босс, допустим это просто скроллер. Рандомными противника. But uh, yeah, this is quite of a long Ospro, so um, Argic, that's just you, buddy. Thank you, buddy. Those monkeys, the, the by the way, they're sky monkeys. They can fly. They're not really that much. Those sky monkeys. Oh, okay. I mean, that's better than excuse than I could have said. In some deal, but just plus the drum. Let's get some donations going. Out here we have a fifty dollar donation from Johnny Five Aces saying shout out to the Something Awful Speed Friends Discord. Love you all. And uh, we've also got a five dollar donation from Nigel that says shout out to the tech team. They are fantastic. They are indeed working behind the scenes to keep all these runs up and running and staying on schedule. So thank you very much to the tech team. For well, all the the hard work that they do. We also have a twenty five dollar donation that from uh, Sigling that says Sonic was X was filled with so many glitches. That we really need them shown off, and that is going to the upcoming Sonic 06. Ah, это случайно не чел, который ранит Соника. Это, по-моему, он, кстати, ну, комментатор, который сам трансляция. Это, по-моему, он. Это чел, который Соника ранит. Я думаю, тот такой голос познакомился. Он такой волосатенький, у него волосы длинные. Ну, помните. Пользовал одну магию. Уничтожил всех противников. Какая магия, не интересно. When you defeat a boss per stage, you gain an extra ability um, by pressing the A button. Uh, the first boss gives you invincibility. The second one uh, makes you do a, a good uh, screen wipe, like to kill all the enemies. That is useless. But invincibility is good for stage three. Uh, this boss here, for this boss coming up, I will give me. Ну, еще рассказывают это примерно такие же механики, как мегамена. За победу над боссами он получает определенные пушки. Ну, в данном случае он получает не пушки, а магию. Первый босс там что-то инвиз дает, или неуязвимость на какое-то время. Просто босс ему давал уничтожить всех противников на экране. Он назвал это бесполезным. Ну, да, наверное, бесполезно. И этот, вот этот босс будет давать ему билку на очень мощную атаку. Так, у меня нужны. Да, это было очень хорошо. Да, в общем, ему повезло с рандомом, он взял Он очень доволен, как вы можете видеть по его лицу. Доволен собой, трогает себя сбоку. Это хороший знак. By no means a an unworthy level to end on because I mean there's a number of clips. На этом уровне он выбирается через какую-то пробку. Yeah, just trying to do a number of these rooms optimally is very very. Что меня начинает тем временем глаза кривить. Yeah, there's a lot of tricky tech to this one. So here is a second appearance. Еще один автоскроллер, босс файтов, надо убегать от чела с первого уровня, просто нажимать вправо, поэтому можно прочитать Кинули донат на выбор раннера. Ничего не сказал, промолчал. Спасибо большое, еще раз. Микрофон мне могут только в Дискорде погромче сделать. Финальная 
quite a doozy. There's a lot of screens that could uh, go really badly. It's gonna be another uh, two wall, uh, another wall clip. I'm gonna try to do or a ceiling clip rather. Uh, we'll save some time, but uh, we'll see what go what's gonna happen here. Yeah, we aptly call these clips, or at least I call them the the blue wall clip and the pink wall clip, respectively. We're gonna run into the blue wall clip first, which uh, you said was a, a little trickier than the. Well, I th oh I skipped wow! The, oh, the platform. <laughs> Dude, was that a first? I. That first time in a run, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 mess, I I messed with it in like safe uh. stage and I like, you know, I can't get, oh, I'll get, I'll take that. Oh, oh, sure. Okay, so here's the blue wall clip. He got it. He got it. If he could just push his way through there. All right. That was, that uh, was a little slow, but I'll take it. That's not that right. one, but that's a uh, right, This screen involves uh, a few damage. Yeah, here. Uh, here. Uh, oh, okay. I'm gonna take an, I'm gonna take some health here just for safety precautions. Is that the one I should say? Uh, uh, no, 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 so you do have to be careful. And he also still has to get through this screen. So like we said, a lot of a lot of pretty scary screens here that you have to go through normally in an actual run with little to no health. Yeah, the hard part there is just mem memorizing what's coming up. What's that, that going downwards, there's a lot of similar sections that uh no, <laughs> you just forget what's coming up and you can just oh, that easily that lose that all that yeah. Also, if you so, notice, every time Joey gets hit, if he wants to uh, land on the right-hand side, he'll always look left right before he gets hit because it makes the game think like, oh, he's, you know, he's looking to the left, so he should get hit right. But so you'll see him going to the right, and then as soon, right before he gets hit or takes a damage boost, he'll tap left and uh, yeah. Okay, here's the pink wall clip. Can he get it? Uh, I'm trying. No, 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 no. Oh, that was close. Okay, there we right, go. Good. And <laughs> some thing with that clip there, going through that door takes you all the way here, and that saves at least about eight or ten seconds. Having to skip a number of doors to get through. Having to skip a number of doors to get through. Having to skip a number of doors to get through. Having to skip a number of doors to get through. Having to skip a number of doors to get through. Having to skip a number of doors to get through. Having to skip a number of doors to get through. Having to skip a number of doors to get through. Having to skip a number of doors to get through. Having to skip a number of doors to get through. Having to skip a number of doors to get through. Having to skip a number of doors to get through. Having to skip a number of doors to get through. Having to skip a number of doors to get through. Having to skip a number of doors to get through. Having to skip a number of doors to get through. Having to skip a number of doors to get through. Having to skip a number of doors to get through. Having to skip a number of doors to get through. Having to Dynamic Nice job. Yeah, nicely done. Убил он босса. Great job. Thank you, thank you. I, I, I got a pretty ну, solid game there. Uh, just, 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 just ну, просто он нажимал кнопки. Really кнопки нажимал <laughs> и... Как говорится, кнопки нажимаются, босса крутится. <laughs> strong, Большой он взял, конечно, из тиммейт. Но с расчетом на провал автоскроллера. В автоскроллерах нет чекпоинтов, и ему пришлось бы каждый раз заново начинать. Вот. Ну то есть, нормально, нормально. Она 13 минут раньше закончил, хорошо. Интересная игра. Прикольно, прикольно. Такие игры просто смешные. Спасибо всем, 
Блейд в ДК и закончил его с тиммейт, причем еще с таким отрывом. Блин, а если я, например, буду раньше биошок и возьму с тиммейт полтора часа? Кстати, будет прикольно. That's two Recky record games that have been in GDQ now, so let's keep it going. Yeah, this game was a single person holding the game. Yeah, that'd be it for me. 